Well lads, it's finally here, it's finally up on my channel, The Last of Us Part 2. I gotta appreciate the main menu, just like The Last of Us Part 1, the first game, it's very minimalistic. And that's, that's not a bad thing, that's a good thing, in fact I think we can see a lot from the main menu here. It's just looking at it, that solitary boat, that grey background, it sort of sets a very dark tone so you know that, that the theme of the game as well is going to be very dark, it's going to be very somber, you're going to go through a lot of hardships in this game. So that's very very cool, very very nice. Also I was going through the accessibility features and I gotta give a thumbs up to Naughty Dog, they really really did, did improve over the last game for those who are visually impaired, for those who may be physically impaired who might not. Uh, be as adept with a controller as some people and I like that I like to see that in games it is absolutely awesome it is phenomenal good job Naughty Dog so far you've already won me over so that that's uh, mm. nothing more to say there I just want to get into the game now and again it's already been spoiled for me I know who dies and I'm disheartened that it's already been spoiled for me because um I've been waiting for this for a while, I've been waiting to play for a while, it's down to me, I should have went on a complete social media shutdown. Because I've said it before in other videos that if you don't want to have games spoiled for you, avoid social media, uh, disable your account, just uh, go on hiatus from social media because you are going to get spoilers. Uh, so, yeah, but I don't know how, I don't know how this character dies, uh, so that, that's, um, that's something, but at least I can go go into the game uh, op open, open-minded and a little bit op optimistic, even though it's slightly spoiled. But it doesn't matter. Let's get right into it. Okay, so we got our story mode. Okay, it doesn't look like that there's any multiplayer like the first one. Uh, so we got our concept art, our model viewer, and of course the credits. Okay, we're going to start story new game. Um. For those looking for greater challenge, resources are limited, and enemies are more dangerous. You know what, I'll play it on, on moderate. Provides a balanced experience, resources are limited. Okay, that's fine. And these are just... Uh, controls. Nah, camera assist. No, I, I don't want to invert the controls, thank you, that pisses me off more than anything. Okay, you have flicked to moderate and it can be changed at any time. What do I look like? A rookie? I'm fresh off The Last of Us Part 1. I can handle this. I'm supposed to take her to the fireflies and walk away. If you go halfway across the country with someone, she needed her immunity to mean something. Maybe I was starting to buy into that old cure business. Maybe I just wanted to do right by her. And then we made it. We found the fireflies. Because of her, they were actually going to make a cure. The only catch. What are you doing? I won't let you take her. This is our future. Think of all the lives we'll save. Jesus Christ, Joe. What do you do? A 
saved it. That's a lot. What does Ellie know? I told her they just ran some tests. I told her her immunity meant nothing. And she believed you? Didn't say otherwise. <laughs> we should head back. Okay, well, that that was uh, to quote Marty McFly. That was uh, pretty heavy. So Joel more or less conve uh, confessed that he just couldn't go through with it. Now, d don't blame him. Okay, now on the plus side, uh, just in regards to this upload, I don't think it'll be 60 FPS because, as you can see, it's just about 30 FPS. When it comes out on PS5, if it comes out on PS5, it will probably, more than likely, be in uh, 50 or 60 FPS. Unless there's going to be some scenes that will be 60 FPS. But it, I doubt it. Because as you saw just there, there was a bit of um, frame rate drop there for a second. But anyway, just looking at the series, this is pretty. We just look look the god rays there. That is stunning. Because the technology that they used for the motion capture was supposed to be something else, something out of this world. I mean, way ahead of its time. Okay, L1 to gallop. All right. Look at this. This is pretty. Like I haven't been this impressed since I played uh, Uncharted 4, and of course another game from Naughty Dog. Those games are known for their fantastic story, just like The Last of Us, and of course, their graphics as well. I mean, it, it is... I just, just want to explore around here a small bit. Oh yeah, and there's um, the uh, water the water treatment area, the water plant. It just makes me wonder... Are there acids taken from The Last of Us Part 1, the first and Last of Us, and um, just imported into this game and just sort of upscaled? It would make it makes sense if they were to save time. Uh, yeah, this is this is very nice. Wait, 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 wait a minute. 
Didn't I cross this stream with Ellie on the way back? I mean, it looks similar. The, the area looks kind of similar. Oh my god, I did. I, I'd say I did. Maybe, possibly. Okay, go on. Okay, go, come on, Buckaroo, let's go. Oh my god, this is fantastic. I love it. And of course, the theme song as well. Oh my god, I just love the backing music. I mean, I'm no connoisseur of music. I'm no expert in music. I just know that there's certain sounds that do tingle my ear, and this is one of them. It's, there are many things that make a game good. Graphics, yeah, sure. Gameplay, of course. Story, definitely. Well-developed characters, did I just say that? I'm not sure. But also the backing music, the instrumentals. They convey a message, they convey a tone, a, a theme. They set the mood, or the, the music sets the mood. It certainly is setting it now. Now, I'll be honest, um, I wasn't really too hyped for this game. I don't really get hyped for games, to be honest. Like, I don't jump up and down. I don't get giddy. To be honest, I just uh, go out and buy them. I'm, I just say, look, this looks like a good game. I'm going to buy it. Or I can't wait for this game. I'm going to buy it. Like, I don't uh, post a lot about games on my social media. I don't really convey my excitement. I'm kind of, like, apathetic. You sure? About what we were talking about earlier. Can't say I'd have done different. I'll take it to the grave if I have to. I'll see you later. <laughs> So I guess we're going to finally be able to explore this area because I think this game is supposed to be more open world, directed by Neil Druckmann. Give me a heart attack. I tried knocking, but hey. Hey. What's up, Joel? Just checking in. Folks were you know, talking about how impressed they are with you and how well you're Helping out. It's good. Yeah. Tommy and I went out riding the other day, and he, uh, <laughs> he told me a joke, and I, I thought about you. It's, um, oh, shoot, now I forgot it. Uh, something about a clock. How do you... Joel, it's, uh, it's pretty late, and I gotta... Get up in a few hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm, I'm gonna get out of your hair. Just, um, I, I want to show you something. Just give me one second. What's this? 
Some folks call this thing here a guitar. Funny. You want to hear something? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Promise me that you won't laugh. Won't laugh. I won't. I'm trusting you. Oh, we're playing now. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. This is so cool. And then use the touchpad swipe. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cool. Because this, in every, in any game I've played, in most games I've played, the touchpad is barely been implemented, barely been used. And but then again, that it comes from a place of bias, to be honest, because I haven't played a lot of PS4 games. To be honest, I have a lot of PS4 games, but I just haven't played them all. So uh, maybe I could be wrong. Maybe this touchpad is used in quite a few PS4 games, but for the ones I've played thus far, I can't remember using it all that much. The click function, yes. The actual touch control, no. Okay, but let's get back into it. This is, again, this is very awesome. <laughs> okay, seriously, I'll just get right into it. Ah, oh, bollocks. Sometimes you'll succeed to make this man of me. All my stolen missing parts, I've no need for anymore. Yes, I believe, and I believe, yes, I can see. didn't suck. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. She's yours. No. No, 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 no. I don't know the first thing I about this. I promise that I teach you how to play. You did. What do you say, tomorrow night, first lesson? Deal. Okay. Okay. Did... Do you remember the joke? What is the downside to eating a clock? It's time consuming. That's so dumb. <laughs> yeah.
Genau, genau. Hey. Morning. Sorry, I totally overslept. Just give me a minute and I'll get dressed. I heard you had quite a night after I left. I... She kissed me. It was just Dina being Dina. She didn't mean anything by it. I was talking about your fight with Seth. Wait. You kissed Dina? Oh. This We're broken up one week and you make a move on my girl? No. <sighs> she was probably just trying to make you jealous. I didn't... I would never... <sighs> Fuck, this is awkward. I'm messing with you, man. I don't care. Get dressed. <sighs> You're the worst. It's kind of fucked up you did that. <sighs> Get your stuff together while we're late. Mm, smells fine. <laughs> okay, um, my thoughts. First impressions is absolutely well. It's the complete polar opposite of the first game. Well, it's the opening is the complete polar opposite of the first game. The first game was complete chaos from start to finish. Uh, oh, look, there's Joel's guitar. So tired. Oh my god, a PlayStation 3, holy shit, dude. But it's not the slim version, it's the big old fatty fat. I still have my own fatty fat, I have two fatty fats. I have the 60 gig model, the one that plays the PS2 games. And I have a 80 gig. My uh, 60 gig model, which is my pride and joy, has a 750 gig hard drive. Actually, no, it has one terabyte hard drive in it. Sorry, I forgot. So it is awesome, and uh, yeah, of, of my uh, other one as well. Let's see what else we have here. We have the Jack and Daxter trilogy, the American box art cover, and I think the first Uncharted game. Yes, we do indeed. Jeez, Elliot, you're not doing too bad for yourself. In fact, I, I'd argue you're doing great. Let's see, what else can we see here? Is there any other references to pop culture? Or any other Naughty Dog games? No. Uh, 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 just want to try and see, is there a photo mode here? Yes, there is. There is a photo mode. Can I zoom in? Please send me, I can zoom in. I'm going to play around with this in my own time. Uh, screen effects, filters, can get frames. Uh, no, the only reference here is the... PS3 reference, and of course the Jack and Decker. That is definitely Uncharted there, okay? That is, that's cool. That is awesome. I'm satisfied in seeing that. So like I was saying, between the contrasting openings of the first and second game, this is totally different. This is more optimistic. It's more happy. It's more upbeat. Like I said about the first one, uh, it's it was a complete and utter shit show. Devastation. Death. Right off the bat. But this, this is more wholesome. It's cool. I like it. Okay, we got a little uh, Megazord there. And of course, Savage Starlight. Thoughts 20. I suppose that poster probably does reference a band in real life. Thoughts 20. 21 Pilots? No? Dream Day? Uh, I'm not sure. But, but okay. More, more gameplay, Robbie. More gameplay. We can dive into the uh, other aspects of the game later. Uh, sure. Okay, 
we don't have any supplies in here, no? But we do have one sexy ass reflect. Mm, Ellie, you are looking scrumptious. Okay, comics. Yeah, that's about this cool. Oh, and my pocket knife. Hey, is Joel up? Sucks. Yeah. Can't imagine they got much sleep. Definitely not as much as you. Shut up. I was just about to get up. I was. You got everything? <sighs> yes. And speaking of scrumptious, you, you don't look too bad yourself, dear tummy boy. Heads up. Or right. talk to the town this morning. <sighs> what? Yeah, Ellie, what? Let me see if I got this right. You kissed Dina. She kissed me. Which triggered Seth to call you a not so nice word. Yep. Then Joel decked him. More of a push. And then you got mad at Joel. That part confused me. It was a strange night, man. Sounds exciting. Sorry I missed it. Okay, so we are in Jacksonville, I think. But we're more in the townland of it. Be safe out there. We always are. Okay. You yeah, just want to do some exploring. Uh, can't go into any of these buildings, no? Ah, oh, come on, Naughty Dog. I want to explore. Let me explore the game. Don't be mean. You don't. Don't get me wrong, I like games to be linear, but I like to do my own thing as well at the same time. Maria wants a word with you. Where is she? The diner. Oh. Is this Seth? No clue. Just Marie. Me. Maria is uh, Tommy's wife. Your fucking loyalty? Excuse me? Staying up late. Hey. And I'm probably wasting a lot of time exploring here. Probably not going to find anything. But still, it's just the little things I want to take in. I like if I can find little bonuses. No, don't think I will be finding anything. Alright, I'll follow you, watch your face. Did he say what his name was, or what his name was? He probably did, but I didn't pay attention, like always. Hey, so... We're okay, right? You and me? Yeah, of course. Dina and I are done. I know. I was just... I don't want you to think... Ellie. We're cool. Promise. Alright, you seem like a nice guy. So... Whoa. Oh, Doggo! Hey, Doggo, hey boy, how you doing? That kind of reminds me, I really do want to get a dog of my own again at some point. Don't know when though, I mean, I already have two cats, so I'm not sure how that would play into the chemistry of the household. I, mean, I had a dog before, but like it's in other videos, he disappeared. He got along well with, with my two cats, so I'm not sure how well they'd feel about another dog being brought in. Because Because my two cats grew up with my other dog, so they weren't afraid of him. But uh, yeah, going back to the game. I'm, I like the townland, I'm liking everything. It's way more populated than The Last of Us Part 1 or The Last of Us 1. I'll just call the first game The Last of Us 1. It's definitely going to be a huge step up. Definitely a lot more to do, and a lot more to explore. Okay, but we're done exploring for now. We need to progress with the story. No, where's Maria? In the back. Excuse me. Ellie, there you are. Come here.
That's got something you want to say to you. I don't want to hear what that bigot has to say. Do it for me. Please. <sighs> Fine. Seth. Seth, come here. Hey. Last night, I was, uh, I was drinking too much. Sure. I'm trying to say I'm sorry. Maria tells me that you and Dina are headed out. I, uh, made you some sandwiches. Okay. Or steak. Thank you, Seth. Yeah, well, uh, you be safe out there. Yep. I appreciate that. What you got there? Bigot sandwiches. Mmm. Smells good. They're yours. You sure? It's fine. Let me walk you out. Okay. Jeez, Marie. Maria, you've aged quite a lot in the last, what, four years? Okay, real life tip. Never mention a woman's age. Did will get boy, pissed. I want you to trade off with Tommy and Joel. These boys have been up for far too long. Where do I meet them? If you go up to the Northwest Lookout, they're scheduled to arrive later today. But watch yourself. Uh, there's too many sightings of infected recently. Of course. I was going to check out the creek trails. I'll need someone else to cover it. Ellie, you know the creek trails? Not really. Dina's done it a bunch. Oh. I'll have the two of them Tell take it. Well, that solves that. Ellie, can I talk to you for a sec? Okay, you can talk to me later. Just want to do a bit more commentary on this. No, I've said this in The Last of Us 1 before, but this definitely reminds me a lot of The Walking Dead. Like the setting and the whole outbreak scenario. You've got people trying to live like they did before. I mean, you've got a daycare here, so you've got people uh, still copulating. You've got people setting up market stores, trying to live life the best way they can. It kind of reminds me of the setting in Alexandria when Rick and company finally found their slice of heaven until that was taken away from them and it had to be rebuilt. But yeah, it, it reminds me a lot of The Walking Dead. So you would say it's kind of, what's the term I'm looking for? Not generic. It's a cliche. It's cliched, but I'm not saying because it's cliched, it's bad. It's a good kind of cliche. It's one that we're all familiar with. One that we can kind of uh, relate to other games, other TV shows. It's relatable. We've all experienced this. Not in real life, but we've seen it on TV, so it's kind of cool. Okay, right. Got to talk to Maria now. Look, I don't know what's going on with you and Joel. <sighs> Maria. The guy really cares about you. And I'm sure he didn't mean to. We're fine. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry to pry. Be safe. Thanks. Yo, Dina! Assignments! <clears throat> Just give me a minute! Can we get your girlfriend to the stables, please? Can I talk to you? <laughs> hey, guys, I'm tapping out. Come on, how long? Whew. Hey, hey. Um, I just want to say sorry for running off last night. Oh, that's it's okay. I totally get it. I, <laughs> I just I felt bad. Why? Because I started the whole thing, and 
I just, sh I shouldn't have kissed you in front of all of those people. And no, you were drunk, it's fine. Well, still, I just, I don't want you to think. No, I'm not reading into it or anything. I'm just. You know what I love about you? How you let me finish my sentences. All right. Well, we should probably get going. Yeah. Ow! What the fuck? I'm not even playing! Because you're a chicken? You're a chicken! <laughs> I hate this kid so much. You want to fuck him up? Yeah, I do. You asked for it. You better run, you little shit. Holy <laughs> shit. Get to cover. Go, go. <laughs> okay, we're getting introduced a bit of combat here. Fuck yeah. Don't tell your mom. Oh my god, <laughs> this is so fun. Eat that. dang it. Oh, I'm coming for you, tiny. Oh, yeah. Get screwed. Oh, <laughs> kids, you're getting destroyed. See you. Oh, 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 kid, your aim sucks. Oh, damn, kid. Where's that other kid? Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, dog pile. Oh, dog, dog pile. All right, all right. We actually have some work to do. Scram. I guess I asked for that, huh? Yep. Let's go. Again, wholesome family fun. This is great. Get yeah, totally different turn from last us one. He's gonna relieve Joel and Tommy. Oh, that's nice you assigned us together. You're gonna like this route. And from what I've heard, Dina is Ellie's love interest, which Morning. is cool. Morning. Howdy. Hey, ladies. I'll bring him in. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to relieve Joel and Tommy from their duties. Oh, what you doing? Hoofing a horse? Reshooting a horse? Well, good job, whatever it is. Oh, I'm stepping in horse shite. That's a good girl. Look who's here. Nice. This game also has like a kind of Red Dead Redemption 2 vibe with the horses and it being set out west. If this is west. Hey, Shimmer. But it has a, a, an old west vibe. Oh, look who decided to join us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One for you. And one for you. Open it up. Settle down, Joe. All right. You all know the drill. Run your routes, mark your log books, clear any infected you see. If you run into anything you can't handle, you come back. Be smart about it. All right. Get going.
were you dreaming about? Was I talking? You were doing your teeth grinding thing. Where have you been? Grab your gear. I want to show you something. What? Trust me. Come on. This way. Who the hell is this person? Jesus Christ, she is built like a shit break tank. God damn. Holy shit. Boy, I wouldn't want her to be kicking my ass. Yeah, she'd win. Look, hands down. It's cold. Are you sure you don't want to do this when the sun's out? And it's warmer? No. Can't wait. And you don't want to just tell me? You need to see it. Okay, screw you, I'm doing my own thing. I want to explore. And nothing's going to stop me. Okay, this barrier might stop me. No, no, can't explore. Oh, okay, fine. Well, I can't blame the guy for trying, but Jesus Christ. She'd fucking crush a watermelon with, with her bare hand. Singular hand, not hands. Just pick it up and go. Right. Yeah, we can do a bit of vaulting, some free running start. Out here by yourself. Been restless. You too. I feel like the farther south we go, the prettier it's gotten. You want to keep going? Just drive all the way to Mexico. I've thought about it. I can see Manny's hometown. <laughs> yeah, I don't see that living up to his stories. So no. Yeah, no, probably not. Yeah, the story of him not speaking a lot, it's just that there's a lot of dialogue in the dark. and I don't want to interrupt yes. it. Now come on. Okay, screw you, I'm going my own way, forging my own path. I'm not a conformist. We keep going like this, we're going to be tired for today's trip. Not that far. Hey, is Mel okay? She seemed out of it these past few days. She'll be fine. You stop being weird. You're freaking me out. I'm not being weird. Oh my god, this is absolutely gorgeous. And if there's one season I think everybody loves universally, it's winter. I mean, sure, summer is nice as well. You've got the warm weather. You've got the flowers, you've got all the colors of the fucking rainbow. Wait, that would be uh, autumn. But uh, yeah, you, you, you've got people out and about, but winter, there's something else about it. It's cold, it's chilly, it's dank, it's kind of depressing, but at the same time, just uh, viewing everything into one plain color that we see only once a year, if we're lucky. It's, it's very, very nice, but we don't see it for long. See, summer lasts for about two or three months. So from like um, the end of May, if I'm right, the middle of May to August or July. I've got to get my seasons right. Like If I had to rank seasons in, um, in terms of my favorite, I'd say definitely winter. Only thing I don't like about it is the cold. That's the one thing. I mean, kind of. And then autumn, because there's uh, lots of colours on the trees. The leaves are dying, so they fade from green to yellow to brown, orange, all, all that stuff. It's very colourful, good for photography, which I like. Then summer, then spring. So yeah, those are my two cents. And I hope... Oh, Jesus Christ. Now we got wet feet. Okay, awesome. Are you breaking up with Mel? What? No. You wish. Uh, I've had my fill. Thank you. <laughs> Ouch. We can't all be as graceful as you. Clearly. What is that? 
You'll be fine. It's too high. Come on. Yeah, I don't trust you. Like you give off very. Hey, eyes on me. Abby. Okay. Oh. Stop looking down. Okay, Abby. That's my name. Okay, cool. Well, my name's Robbie, but her name is uh, Abby. Do we have to go back this way? Consider it an opportunity to work on your fears. How about I work my foot up your ass? Abby. Nope. Stop flirting. <laughs> To be honest, if somebody forced me to go up a height, I'd probably work my foot up their ass as well. I'd do a lot worse. Because if there's one thing that I'm afraid of, it's heights. I mean, like, I'm not deathly afraid. They make me uncomfortable. But I'm just saying, you, you'll never catch me on a fucking roller coaster. I'd go on a kid's one, but I wouldn't go on one for the big boys. No way, I, I hate them. There's some things I'll go on. There's some things I have a tolerance for, but like the, the more extreme mm -hmm. things, no. Holy shit. It's a fucking city. No. Oh. Have you told anyone else? I wanted you to see it first. I saw an armed patrol go from town to an outpost. Over there, a few more outposts in between. They have electricity, guns. It's a lot of people. We can figure it out. Okay. Assuming he's in there, how do we get to him? Well, we can corner one of the patrols and get confirmation, and then. I don't know. Maybe find a way to lure him out. Yeah, okay. I'm sure they'll be happy to offer that information up. Well, then we make them. Do you hear yourself? Okay, what do you want to do? What is going on with you? Mel's pregnant. Oh. Okay. It's not just that, though. Should I say congrats? When everyone else sees this, they're gonna want to turn back. We can convince them, right? I fucking knew I couldn't count on you. Happy. I want what you want. Not at any cost. Hey. Don't. See you back at the lodge. Alright, so I'd say we're playing as the antagonist, and the person that they're probably looking for is the whole thing on my own. Uh, Joel. What I'm assuming is Joel probably killed one of their parents or something like that in the first game while escorting Ellie to the Fireflies, and now it's just going to be a whole story of vengeance and a very deep seated, a deep rooted uh, vendetta. Vendetta Vengeance, same thing. So, shh, we're going to go back and forth between playing the bad guy and the good guy. So, uh, yeah, Naughty Dog are definitely switching it up. This is definitely a, a curveball. Something I thought Naughty Dog would never do. I thought it would be more or less straight and narrow going back and forth between Joel and Ellie. But no, I never thought they'd pull something like this. So uh, again, GG on Naughty Dog. Keep surprising me. Yeah, we're 
definitely not going down here. Not a hope in hell we'll break our damn necks. Be interesting to see if we actually can, because in the last boss uh, one, they had invisible barriers, so you couldn't exactly throw yourself off a cliff. I uh, have the same thing here. Whoa! <gasps> They still have the same death music, though. Okay. Yeah. They definitely don't have barriers or invisible barriers to stop yourself from falling off edges and cliffs into the abyss. That has definitely changed. But then again, you'd sort of expect that. Sorry, I keep hitting my microphone. I'm telling you, it's abuse. Um... Again, prob lots of areas to explore, but there's probably nothing in them. Don't appreciate that, Naughty Dog. I mean, I do, but I don't. Love-hate thing. Okay, so we're off to find out information about Joel, I'd assume. It's gotta be Joel. Or it could be Tommy. Who knows? I could be entirely wrong about this. Oh, we, oh, we can go prone. Okay, that's new. Again, more walking dead vibes. It seems as though... Well... Pregnant. <gasps> Ugh. Yeah, no, he got male pregnant. How dare he? So you still have feelings for... What's his face? Adrian. He could have just frozen and died from hyperthermia, exposure. He mightn't have been bitten. You alive? Huh, no. I, yeah, definitely not alive. Unless he decides to jump up and do the... Oh, oh hell no. What the hell happened here? Okay, you couldn't have all possibly died from exposure. Let's say you were bitten. Or maybe they parted themselves to death. Who knows? I mean, I'm not an expert. I don't claim to be an expert on such things. But seriously, though, I'd say we're going to bump into a clicker sometime soon. Will you scooch on through, damn it? <gasps> Jesus Christ. Okay, that, that's scary. What am I supposed to do? I'm pressing triangle. Oh, I'm supposed to hold it down. Okay. Ugh. God, sweet Christ almighty. Well, so much for having a wholesome and happy opening. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Get off, get off me, you freaking nature. Oh, get off. Oh, good lord. Do I have a knife? I probably don't. Oh, dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh, god. The fucking brutalities are back. And there's more of them. Come on. Combat is pretty solid. It's better than the last one. Or it's better than the Last of Us one. You know what I mean. Okay, can't go through here. Come on. Oh. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, get wrecked, son. Ooh. Ow. Okay, so you're not going to be prompted to dodge. It's something you have to learn yourself. So it has to be timed right. Oh, the heads up display is kind of similar to The Last of Us 1. I mean, slightly different, 
but functionality wise it's going to be the same okay. I've been recording for about an hour now so normally I'd end it here but I'm going to just going to finish this part off okay toggle your flashlight okay the controls are mainly the same Okay, let's ground around for some supplies. Let's see if we can find any more health items. Bullets will definitely need a lot of those. Uh, through the front door, pry off under the boards. But uh, no, we're not going to. We're not, we're not going to use our heads here. But we have to. Will you fucking move? We have to go by game logic and play by the game rules. Eh, fuck your rules. This is a bad idea, Abby. <gasps> come on, come at me, bro. Okay, that's probably alerted a whole lot more. I mean, I don't hear more, but there's probably going to be more. Okay. Hoop. Nice butt skid. It's gotta be close. Yeah, not too far now. Oh, that's where Joel is. He's at one of the lookouts. Wait, how do I get in here? Oh, squeeze through. Oh, okay. Okay, we still have our listen mode. They crush and sneak up on him. And it's not as accurate as the last one. Did not make it too easy. Or The Last of Us Part 1. I keep saying the last one. It's shortening the game. It's not the same as The Last of Us Part 1. Or The Last of Us 1. God damn it. Stop overcomplicating things. Same function, but it's just not as accurate. Like you can't see their whole body outlines, so only only this glow. Overall, still the same, and I like it. Give me your bullets. Anything in here? No. Okay, we're good. Oh shit! I've misspotted. Come on, come at me. <gasps> God, I love the brutality. Oh my God, get down, get down, get down. Has round and then yeah, he doesn't suspect a thing. Hey there, buddy boy. And snap goes Nick. Okay, rest in pizza. It does exactly how you do it. Now, where do we go? Oh, the fence. Yeah, here we go. Oh, that looks like it's going to come down and drop on our heads and the alarm is going to go off and there's going to be more runners and then we'll be in a whole pile of doo-doo. That's what's going to happen. I guarantee it. Can I approach it and see see will it happen? No, no. Okay, no. But I could be wrong. Spot me, please. Please, please don't. Okay, no, it's 
too risky to approach him from that side. Come here, come here. Okay, rest in pizza. Did I hear another one there a second ago? Whoa, I did. Okay, come here. Don't cause a ruckus. Oh God. Oh, come here. Oh, I've been spotted. Okay, it's fight time. What the? Oh my god, I'm getting wrecked. But not for long. Okay, gotta watch my health. I assume the road is covered up by snow. Because these are crash barriers, so you must be on a road of some description. Squeeze through? Okay. being with him with Jesse <laughs> no We've been together for so long look Jesse's great I love his parents they will always be family but we were just on autopilot hey how come we never talked about this stuff I don't know it didn't feel you never really talked to me about cat yeah cuz there isn't much to talk about. Yow. Whoa, there's just, uh, too many the names coming at me too record. fast. I don't care about her one way or the other. <laughs> okay. No, I think she's a talented artist. I've grown to like that tattoo of yours. Well, that's so big of you. And I think she wasn't right for you. Interesting. Shut up. Okay. Yeah, I like the back and forth banter, the dialogue. It doesn't seem forced, it seems uh, very very organic, very natural. Love it. Like, it, it does add to the, ca the, the character development. Holy crap, what is wrong with me? I can't talk. Hey. You want to see something spectacular? You're going to point at your face, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is that spectacular. Oh, brother. Are you Come sure? Because you look spectacular to me. Now, you're not going to be creepy like that Adrian guy, are you? Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, what's in here? Aha, ha, ha, ha. Oh, we got shotgun bullets. Speaking of which, what weapon do I have on me? I can't, I can't fucking check. I think it's a rifle. Okay, 
Okay, shitter, always handy. Got good ventilation to let off that uh, stank. Ooh, is this what you wanted to show me, the view? It is very nice. And I do appreciate a good view. This is stunning. Oh, you know what? This is already reminding me of totally unrelated game, but Resident Evil 8 Village. You know, with the mountains in the background. That game is going to be fucking freaky as hell, man. Can't wait for it to come out. Only thing is, it's going to be a PS5... Uh, well... Not a PS5 exclusive, it's going to be a next-gen exclusive. Uh, good thing I have my um, PC here up to date. I assume I should be able to play that on PC. I have an RTX 2060, I should be able to play it at mid to high settings. Certainly not forking out for another, <laughs> another graphics card. I bought an RTX 2070. Sorry! 2060. I bought a 2060 uh, Super V8 gig edition. I was thinking about spending the extra 100 and going for a 2070 Super, but the only difference was the clock speed. I don't think that makes a huge difference. I mean, I could be wrong. I'm no PC expert. I know my way around things. But performance-wise, it wouldn't be a huge leap. It would be a difference, obviously. But it wouldn't be night and day. So if I'm going to upgrade to any graphics card next, I think it might be a 2080. Maybe next year, maybe when I can afford it, but those things cost like a thousand. I'd have to sell this first because it cost me like 500 euro. Now that I think about it, I would be able to afford it. Like I said, only after, only after I sell my 2060 Super. But anyway, getting back to the game. What do you think of this view, huh? This route has its perks. Where do we sign in? <laughs> Come on. Fuck. And still as party mounted as ever, Ellie. Oh, wait, wait, what's this? Sketch? Is that what we're doing? All of this is so Uncharted. This is definitely taken straight from the book of Uncharted. Literally, because uh, you could view a journal and Drake would do little sketches. Okay, so we can read. Dina asked if I was going to the dance, and she touched my arm. Ugh, I'm so delusional. Don't be an idiot. She's like that with everybody. Don't fuck up your friendship. Don't fuck up your friendship. Don't fuck up your friendship! Tonight was crazy. I feel scared, elated, anxious. Just gotta sleep it off. We lost the ground to snow. Step on the ice. Feel my thaw. Test my thaw. Oh, she's writing poetry now. We lost the ground to snow. Step on the ice. Test my thaw. Hmm. Okay, that's nice. very nice thing to incorporate from other games because it does help a good bit it makes it more relatable to uh, to other Naughty Dog games and of course like I said they've thrown in easter eggs and I hope I do see some more easter eggs for um, Uncharted and other PlayStation related things okay seriously getting back into it how long have I been recording for an hour okay Who used to do this route with Jesse? Eugene. Right. Oh, Eugene. Oh, man, he was funny. Oh, yeah. Ah, Eugene. Like Eugene from The Walking Dead. Yes. He taught me about rewiring electronics and stuff. Oh, come on. That is such a Walking Dead reference because Eugene was the electronics guy. He was the tech guy. Things. He was the nerd. Sorry for interrupting the dialogue, but I just had to get that off my head. You know, a lot of elements are going to be inspired from The Walking Dead. Not, I'm, I'm not taking shots at the game, but I'm just saying it's cool. 
I'm watching you now, dog. I know my stuff. I mean, I may not look like it, but I do watch a lot of things. I'm pretty up to date on s some pop culture stuff. Not a lot, but some. I haven't watched uh, what you call it, though. Sign us in. Uh, what was this place? Uh, it used to be a radio Breaking place. Bad. Never watched it. I probably will. I've been told it's good. I know it's probably um, a mortal crime that I haven't watched Breaking Bad, but yet I've watched The Walking Dead. Oh, this is where you do the sign in. Okay, cool. Uh, before I did that, I want to take some bleats. I want to take this map. A storm. Oh, it's not a map. No, well, I want to back out. I want to back out. And there. Okay, all clear. Now we can read. Um, the 12th to the 8th. Dina Eugene, all clear. 12th to 27th. What the hell? Um, The 8th of the 12th. The first game was backwards. It was um, American date and time. So the 8th of the 12th, Dina Eugene, 27th of the 12th, Dina Eugene again, found a wild horse stuck in the ice, got it out, taking it back to camp, skipping the next lookout. Uh, 24th of the 1st, Dina Eugene on clear, 8th of the 2nd, Jesse Astrid, one clicker in the basement of 2358 Mountain View, cleared it. Am I reading this right? Am I re reading it in, in the um, right direction? 29th of the 2nd, Greg Bonney, Dead Goat by Sunny Day's Retirement. Sunny Day's Retirement. Why does that sound familiar? Was that in the first game? I probably came across it. That's why it sounds so familiar. Uh, I gotta Google that. Found three runners inside, cleared them. 10th to the 5th, Dina Eugene killed three runners outside the suburbs, all else clear. 19th to the 6th, Dina Eugene found a dead deer just outside the tower, looks chewed up, but no infected. 21st to the 7th, Dina Eugene all clear, bed rainstorm, river ahead flooded, camping here at night, then backtracking in the morning. 27th to the 8th, Dina Eugene all clear, fort at night, Jesse Dina saw footprints, followed them to a small encampment, two adults and one child in need of medical attention, will be skipping the next lookout and taking them straight to town. Okay, Tommy Joel, all clear. Greg Bonney, all clear. 12, Tommy. Oh, okay, must have been for the previous year. Okay, I just got a bit confused. 28 of the 12, Tommy Joel, two clickers by the gas station. Cleared them, otherwise clear. Greg Bonney, all clear, all clear, all clear. Okay, Ellie, uh, Dina, all clear. Cool. Now come ba go back. Come here. I ain't gonna talk to you. Want to see what's in here first. What's good? Okay, a TV box, a monitor box. Uh, oh, more parts. Okay, scavenger parts, upgrade your weapons. Okay, so upgrading, that's back. That, well, it never left, so it's that's still here. So the same gist, but I'm guessing they're not going to be as plentiful as they were in the first game. Or maybe they are. And like I said before, there's probably going to be a set amount. So if I want to upgrade all weapons to the max, I must find them all. Which I probably won't. Not in my first playthrough. It's impossible. And there's nothing else worthwhile here looking at now. Um, okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Town up ahead's our last stop. Take a look. I see a strip mall. Oh, with the supermarket? No, town's past that. The mountain? Uh, there's a ski lodge. That's the one on Tommy and Joel's route. That's the one. Oh, cool. And this is this... the town with the big tower thing. Yep, that's where the next lookout is. Okay, I'm almost expecting something to jump up in my face and go boo. No, Get back to the horses. Okay, 
Uh, should I end the video here? No, I'll make this video a little bit longer. Just an itty bit, because I don't think I've covered enough to justify ending it. I mean, I've already recorded one video Question. today. Were you wearing those same clothes yesterday? <laughs> They're clean. No judgment. <laughs> it's a patrol, you know. We're here to kill infected, not to look fancy. Still look nice. Thank you. Dina, are you hitting on me? To be honest, I wouldn't blame you. I'd uh, hit on myself too. Because damn, do I look good in green. Get on your horse already. Now let's move out. Hippity hoppity schnoody boobity boobity hoppity. No dialogue? Okay. I think we should go out like Eugene. From a stroke? No. From old age. Like living a long life. You? No way. Come on. You're way too reckless. Oh, look who's talking. Well, you'll probably die from hypothermia from wearing canvas sneakers in the snow. I am wearing <laughs> boots today. You know how you're gonna die? Who? Let me guess. You're gonna kill me? <laughs> if you get on her bad side, she will. <laughs> Did I ruin your punchline? No. Maybe. Fuck you. Uh, we can't dismount and explore, no? Okay, now that's that's a little disappointing, Naughty Dog. Like, I really want to explore those houses. Like, I knew the world was going to be bigger, but I thought we could do a bit... Hey, should we check these houses out? <gasps> oh, good idea, yeah, it's just what I was talking about. They probably do. Yes, Naughty Dog, you answered my prayers. A little too late, but you know, better late than never. What do you know about this place? Just another evacuated neighborhood. Infected almost never make it out this far. <laughs> we usually catch them on the outer perimeter. Oh, supplements. Uh, cool. I was thinking of inviting Joel to watch a movie. You guys good? Yeah. Okay, Shh. now let me read this. Dear Santa. Poor kid. I was a good boy this year. Can I please have a big dog? I wanted to keep my daddy safe while he goes hunting for food. It could also help protect our house from the monsters. It could also help keep me company when my daddy closes himself in the bedroom. Oh, that's dark. Here's what she should look like. Can you also get me a gun? I think it was... <sighs> I think if I was stronger, my daddy would be happier. Thank you very much, Eric. Oh my god, that... That's so sad. So it's obviously just him and his dad. And probably the wife, the mother, got killed. I mean, that's what you have to assume. That's normally the way it goes, or she... What movie are you guys gonna might, watch? Might have died What's prior. Uh, Curtis and Viper 2. That's the one that's been on my radar for a while. Oh, wow. Well, we used to watch these cheesy 80s action movies. I was really into them. Oh, I actually really like them too. What about you? What are you doing later? Some people were talking about sneaking out. Going for <laughs> that sounds fun. Yeah. You wanna meet up after? Uh, okay. Oh. Maybe I'll play guitar for you. I like. We're just going. Okay. Giggity, giggity, giggity. What's Curtis and Viper Two about? <sighs> okay, so two former commandos that go rogue to fight bad guys, and I think in this one. They go up against Russian spies or something. I'm more interested in this than I thought I would be. 
All right, so the young one, Viper, he's a trained ninja, and he's a complete badass. So how old is he in the first movie? Uh, ten. Wait, how many movies did they make of this? Uh, I think they made four? Jeez. Joel actually saw the last one in the theater. Isn't that crazy? Yes. Do you think anybody out there is still making movies? What? Has to be. How do you know? I mean, what if they're all just like us? <clears throat> just surviving day to day. Well, I write new music, so... Someone had a camera. Wait, hold up. There are original Ellie songs? Why haven't you played any for me? Well, I... I, I don't know. Come on, will you play one for me? Tonight? Mm. I'll think about it. You know what, Ellie? I think you've picked up some of Joel's mannerisms. I think you're a little shy. Yeah. Uh, that is actually a good point. Like, how many people would be making home movies? Because if you think about it, um, power, electricity, batteries, all that stuff you would need, bare minimum, to make a movie. They would be pretty scarce, and of course, like, you couldn't do Hollywood effects. Again, like I said, you'd need, uh, you'd need PCs, and you would need power to turn them on to do the editing. And you'd need a decent crew, so I think the only type of films they're going to get are maybe, uh, homemade films, or, my god, snuff films, and I'd say snuff films would probably be the, uh, the biggest genre more than likely because again it's hellscape it's a wasteland uh, there's nothing really good about it other than their own community or other communities but it does prove a point maybe I could be wrong maybe people are trying to make movies and that would be pretty cool that's uh, pretty awesome Wait, I can go up there can't I oh, I almost missed that Almost. Not gonna catch me out that easy, no, I dog. A photo. Oh no, it's a it's a card. Isn't it one of those superhero cards you're all into? Oh yeah. Yeah, and I'm taking it. It's mine. Get your own. First come, first serve. Speak of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a. It's a rifle, I think. Is it? Or is it a shotgun? I don't know. Okay, now I just want to see what skills I can get. And what I can craft. Okay, pretty much the same as the last game. We've got our alcohol, we've got our rags. Um, bottle, I assume that's a Molotov. Smoke bomb. Tape and blades. Okay, listen mode, health... Our health kit, um, that, that increases the healing speed. That increases our maximum health. Our listen mode. Okay, that's cool. And we can craft weapons. Oh no, wait, this is... What the hell? Okay, I'm try, try to get to grips with this. Okay, so craft melee upgrades. Craft an upgrade for your melee weapon. or just you to full your ability. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Crafting speed. Skill unlocked. Okay, so I'm guessing this skill is going to be a unique skill that's probably... It's completely new to the game. We haven't seen it before. Probably something to do with combat. And again, upgrade our healing speed. And uh, yeah, locked. And needs manual. Okay, pretty much the same as the first game. Uh, and I, I actually appreciate that because uh, it makes it easier to get into. Because, uh, let me tell you, I was trying to play uh, Batman Arkham Origins. I'd started playing it there a few months ago. I tried to play it again a few weeks ago because I had given up on it. Not that I'd given up on it, I just took a break. And when I went back to play it, I didn't know the controls. I'm, I'm just like, what the hell am I supposed to do here? 
Like I like simple controls. I like them being simplistic. But it's just because there are so many uh, gadgets and weapons in that game. There's different ways of using them. And it was all foreign to me because I'd stopped playing it. And uh, you know what? I've just given up on the game. I'd need to start it from scratch uh, to, uh, to get back into the swing of it. And I'm not doing that. Not to mention, I was only really playing it for the trophy, so it doesn't bother me. Like, I'm not a big Batman fan. I'm not a big superhero fan either. I appreciate them. I appreciate their movies. I'll watch, watch them when they come out, but I'm not one to spaz over them. Sorry if that's offensive. Like everybody gets excited over something. Me? The temperature drop. Uh, like I said, I, I remain a bit apathetic, not, not really caring, to be honest. It's just like, meh, that's cool. Oh, what do we have here? What the fuck? Oh, that smell. Looks like infected did this. How many do you think it would take to bring down a moose? More than one. Where the hell are they? Go find them. Holy crap, shit is gonna go down. Oh, I can swap weapons with R1. Okay, that, that's new, that's handy, that is pretty handy. No pun intended because we had our handgun out. Shit. I hear some inside. Yeah, probably a lot of runners. Get in there? More importantly, how do we get in there? This way. Dina, this way. Runner. Okay, this is gonna be easy. Come here. This is new. Shut up, Dina. I'm trying to talk. Okay, so this is completely new. I never thought about it. I never thought runners would consume animals like that. Like, it never really occurred to me how would they sustain themselves. Like, I just thought that maybe... Maybe they just might consume other humans. Or, or that they didn't need to eat. Kind of like the zombies in The Walking Dead, although the zombies in The Walking Dead did eat animals as well, now that I think about it. So yeah, I would say that both The Last of Us 1 and The Last of Us Part 2 have drawn huge, huge inspiration from The Walking Dead. It's obvious. And I am completely in love with it. It's so cool. Okay, that's locked, so we probably craft a shiv with some supplies we pick up later on. Unless we can access this from the outside. Oh, we can, okay. Okay, pills, pills, more pills, thank you very much. Fine and dandy, like sour candy, as my mama would say. My mama doesn't say that. She's not that cringe. Okay, I've been recording for an hour and a half now. I'll tell you what, I'll wait till I get to the next cutscene. Then I will call it a video, because I've yet to edit the final video of. Oh, here you go. As I was saying, I haven't recorded the Yeah. I haven't rendered or edited my last video Thanks. from The Last of Us 1. But by the time this goes off, it will be. So you won't know the difference. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, that is it. A good question, actually. It's gotta be the one I had with Joel a year or so ago. A dozen. You? 
listen to. Fuck. Well, maybe we'll get you a new personal record today. Uh, okay, hopefully not. I hope there aren't a lot. Uh, okay, this place is clear. Just searching around for supplies. Don't mind me. Okay, we're good. Yes. Oh, ooh, 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 wait, wait. Yeah, so they obviously came in through this window. Ooh, boy. Let's see how it goes. Okay, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come on, Dina, get her. Or him. Okay. Shh, 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 shh. Don't struggle, don't struggle, don't struggle, don't struggle. Shh. Okay, there's another one inside, but I'm just gonna run around here for a bit. Ooh. Okay, I thought I had myself made there for a second. Okay, so there's two entrances, the top and the bottom. I'll go in through the bottom. Okay, he's too close to the other one, so I'll just follow him around. Okay, doesn't matter. I think that's a... No, that's not a stalker. No, they're both runners. Oh, okay. Cool. Again, another thing, I like the team play here. Because Ellie wasn't a team player in The Last of Us. It was up to you to. Yeah. Looks like it. Yeah, it was up to you to kill on the walkers. Whoops, not the walkers. Yeah. There's gotta be a way in. Walkers, runners, they're the same thing, okay. It doesn't matter. It was the same with Tess as well. Their AI wasn't really programmed that well. Like if... Uh, wait, what? Well, no. Te the AI for Tess was okay. But for LA, no. Like you couldn't uh, take two runners down simultaneously. Coming. I can't look around. You don't need me to hold your damn hand. Yeah, big bubble blowing baby. Okay, I think we've explored every area here. There's nothing on the tables. No. No. Okay, yeah, we've opened every drawer. Yeah. Oh wait, rag. Oh, we can't pick it up. What's up here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. And the safe has been raided. No money for us today. All right, go ahead. Um, there's a hole in the roof over there. Here. What do you want me to do about it? Do I look like a roofer? Thanks. Look, see? Alright, let's figure out how to get in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Definitely won't be fixing that today or any other day. I guess this involves more climbing. And of course more invisible invisible barriers. Can't go up that. Oh, we're going in this way, are we? Pfft, we 
Thought maybe we'd get lucky. Up this snow pile here. It's obvious. Or can I try my luck? No. Oh, okay, fine. Dina, under here. Okay, this wasn't too obvious. Ellie, are you clean? Yeah. Just banged up. Please die of old age and not because you get infected. I really don't want to have to shoot you in the face. <laughs> Deal. Okay, Dina doesn't know. I, so I have to go off the assumption that nobody knows that Ellie is immune, that she's symptomatic. Is that the term I'm looking for? Asymptomatic? Like she's a carrier, but she doesn't show signs of infection. She's she can spread it, but she can't, um, you know, die from it. Okay, that's that's cool. Oh. That roof? Mm, not sure. So I'd say the only ones who know about Ellie and her being the uh, cure or the only hope for humanity is, of course, Joel, Tommy, and Marie. And, of course, the Fireflies. And I assume the game is going to loop back to that at some point. I wonder if this is going to be a trilogy of games. I, ho I hope it does. I, or I hope it does turn into a trilogy. Like uh, the Uncharted series. Like the more the better. Ma'am, I'm sorry to God for what I did. I wasn't going to hurt you. I didn't want anything from your store except for the drugs. Your husband came at me. What choice did I have? My little sister's off feeding her feet. I needed the insulin. Everyone is hoarding the stuff. What choice did I have? I hope he survives. I'm sorry. Okay. See, it is a dog-eat-dog -dog world out here. And I don't think I can upgrade anything. Can I? Oh crap, mini upgrades. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that now. Anything good back here? Actually, yeah. Nice. Yeah, found some drugs. Hardcore drugs. Apprentice, I got a trophy. Okay, that is awesome. Uh, where do I go from here? Just where I can climb up. Okay, help me out here. Oh, oh, I think I know. Ah, yes, now it's making sense. There we go. This way. And through here, it's gonna be a hell of a drop, I'm or not? In. Okay, let's go looting. Should we check for supplies? No, but I should definitely check my health. Jesus Christ, I got pretty bad up, lads. Ooh, cleaning alcohol. Hey. Got some alcohol. A couple of rags. Here. Let's Thank you. Up. I definitely need to do that. Naughty dog, no TV reflections. Very disappointed. Uh, 
And I can't craft a weapon just yet because I don't have a weapon. Okay. Now we are fit as a fiddle. Got it. Except, Ellie, you don't really need it. Remember, I don't want to have to shoot you in the face. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> okay, we're going to see the new clickers. That's going to be. Keep your eyes peeled for older infected. That's going to be interesting to see the new, new clickers. I like, want to see if there's any know. difference between the models from the first game and the second. Let's get or the current. Okay, this place is now cleared out. Unless there's anything back here. No? Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine as wine. Oh, I could probably go for some wine. Open this, see what's in here. Ooh, a safe. We'll probably need a combination, right? I guess we could guess it, but there's going to be a note somewhere with the code on it. Yo, Kristen. Left the real shit in the safe for you. Combo is the date. My good boy got employee of the month. Don't fucking sell those or give them away. That's for your back, alright? Feel better, Mina. Oh, so there's drugs in there. And I'm guessing the employee of the month thing will probably be up on a wall somewhere. This wall? Or will it just be a document? No. Okay, it's not staring me in the face here now. Oh, we have to mount. Here we go. 2013. Um. Yeah, I assume it's 2013, unless we're going to have to go by month and year. Yeah, it's going to be month and year. But uh, like, is there any way to zoom in on these? Be anyone. Um, March twenty thirteen, I'd have to assume. Wait, does this work now? Is, is this it? The third in February 13? No. Nope. Unless it's the other way. think that the most obvious one would be the blank one here no way would it be the dog let me read that note again just to see if there's any bit of a clue 
Ah, oh, good boy. Yeah, it is the dog. Oh my god. Okay, so July. July 2013. Okay. Jeez, I can't believe I missed that. So July, July is the six month. No, it's the seven month. What the hell am I talking? So it's going to be. 07, right? Twenty thirteen. I was right. Okay. Oh, shit. oh hell yeah, we fit the jackpot. To do a bit more exploring here now. Um, I've been recording nearly two hours. I'm getting a bit tired. Should I end the video here? I'd like to think I got enough covered. But then again, I'm not sure. Because I really want to play more of it. Because for the next two days, starting from tomorrow, I'm working. So Friday and Saturday and possibly Sunday. I mean, I can always record when I get back from work. But I'd like to, I'd like to think of those as my... Shit! As I was saying, I'd like to think of my work days as my days off from recording, but, you know, I've got to keep up with the grind, so I'll see what I, I can do. So what I'll do is, I'll take care of these two clickers. Maybe there'll be a cutscene, maybe there won't be, but I'll be ending this video in the next few minutes. That is the point. Gotta push lightly. Okay, guys, calm down, calm down, calm down. I'm sorry I broke your roof. I didn't mean it. I mean, maybe that's a sign I should lose some weight. Calm down. And of course, Dina, you're no help. Yes, Ambo, thank you. Okay, there's only one. There's only one. <laughs> Jesus, ain't Why don't fuckers make my skin crawl? Oh, you're telling Let's me. Make sure the rest of the building's cleared out. And then get the fuck out of here. Yep, good idea. Speak in my language. Okay, this place has pretty much being cleared of anything decent uh nothing on the shelves no atm well money is useless in this world so there's no point in even trying to break that open dina will help 
coming. Any time now. Make me a present. Ooh. A Malamatov. Thanks. I mean, I'd much prefer to drink this, but. Um, Careful with that. Okay. I'm a pro. Okay, we know how to make them rags and alcohol. Okay, pills, pills, and more pills. Yeah, I see we've collected everything. Ooh, and there's more trouble in here. We got some numbers here. Everything's fine, everything's fine, everything's fine. So take out the runners first, that would be the, the best idea, because they can actually see us unlike the clickers. Come here. Okay. Easy, dude, easy. So, I think there's one... Yeah, runner. Oh, oh shit. So much for the stealthy approach. She's Turn off me. Get up, get up, get up. Oh no, you don't. <laughs> okay, so we can switch um, sites. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Ooh. Okay, that went to hell pretty quickly. Any still moving? Uh, nope. You know what? I'm impressed with us. Yeah. Man, the guys are not going to believe our numbers. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the next lookout. I take a fucking break. Okay, good idea. Agreed. First, let's just check the shelves for anything decent. Do you see a way out? <laughs> okay, blades, thank you. Else decent around here. Get okay, rag. That's it. Surely there's got to be more. Wait, did I miss something back here? Oh, per no rag. And yeah, that's about it. Nothing else. Ah, 
yeah, I knew I saw Rex or else. Okay. That's every place cleared out now. Get kind of mosey on out of the store. Dina, come on. I won't budge. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. You're just gonna hurl me up through that hole in the roof. <laughs> okay. Or, or. Cable here. There we go. That should hold us. Oh, so we're going uncharted style now. Get over. <laughs> Want me to try? I got it. Okay, okay. No one gets. Uh, no one gets everything the first time. These things uh, take a, a while. Aha! Okay. Uh -huh. There we go. Ladies first. Okay, that's good. Here I go. Oh, that's so not gonna hold. Oh, you just wait. This thing is Careful gonna collapse on me. Pretty windy. Oh, it actually held. I just want to see if I can no I can't cross okay that's fine oh. Ooh. Storm's really picked up how far are we from the lookout just past the next town following you all right let's just go on to the next town see if there's a cutscene and I'll end it there can't be too far off next cutscene. Hey, how far away are we? A few minutes out. Okay. Come on. Liking the blizzard, liking the snowy weather. But um guess things are worse. gonna go south pretty Turn quickly. Back. Whatever you say, Captain Crunch. I know, girl. I know. Keep going. Uh, no, she's not yeah, gonna make it. Oh God, I'm not liking this. Separated. Nina! Oh, it is bad. Yeah. It was probably me that went around in a circle. Nina! Oh, she's up this way. Okay. No one else to trust. Get inside. Oh, this is cozy. I'll get the door. You been here? Make sure it's clear. 
Okay, we got what looks to be the old Dell desktops. Good for playing RuneScape back in the day. And this is chained. Someone's locked this place up. There's something back there. I think I see a bed. Maybe that a squatter? I see another way in. Okay, we probably do have a squatter. Uh, I'm struggling to end this video. Wait. It doesn't feel like anyone's been here in a while. Well, feelings and looks can be deceiving, as we as we've been taught during our many play. Yeah, I'm a need a shift. Likes it. Um. Okay, yeah, I'll need a ship to open that door and thoughts and feelings can betray us. Can't lock a window. Break glass with bricks, bottles, or melee. Okay, we're uh, glassing it. What's going on here? What isn't going on here? It looks to be like a bit of a workshop. All this electronic stuff? This has to be Eugene's. Are you sure? Yeah, nobody else would tinker with this shit. But why would he hide it from me? That is a very good question, and we're probably going to find out through the medium of notes, if we do find any. In fact, I'm probably guessing that this was uh, Gene's home away from home. Or Eugene. Gene, Eugene. Same thing. Huh. Eugene Linden. Definitely Eugene's place. Oh, he's a firefly? He served with Tommy. I'm thinking maybe we might have met him in The Last of Us 1. Possibly. I had no idea. Yeah, they got into some real dark shit. Like what? He said he blew up a checkpoint at Denver PZ, killed three soldiers, and two civilians. Jesus. He also told me that he and Tommy slow tortured some big Fedra general. I don't, know, I, I don't buy Tommy being that guy. He could do worse. What do you mean? He and Joel did a lot to survive after the outbreak. He was Eugene in touch with the other fireflies? Did he hear about me and Joel? No. He would have said something. Hmm. He might have known about us. Yeah, and I'd say a lot of these acids are definitely carried over from The Last of Us 1. I definitely remember that big stereo box from the uh, snow town we were in. Oh, he's definitely, like myself, fond of his computers and computer parts. Oh, more trading cards, thank you. Okay, let's just take a brief look. Yeah, that's cool. Used to be into those type of things myself when I was a wee lad. But I'm a grown up now. Got no time for that. Oh, 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 oh. More references. Got the old fatty fat PS3 here. Two controllers. We've got Uncharted 2 and 1 and... The Jack and Dexter collection. No love for the PS3 Slim, Super Slim. Okay, let's let's be honest. The PS3 Super Slim that was a piece of garbo, piece of shit. Not in terms of specs, just in terms of the way it was built. It, I've seen it. I've never owned it, but it just looked and felt flimsy as all hell. Didn't like it. Super Slim was good. But well, it was alright. Oh yeah, the uh, 
or the regular Slim was good. But the Super Slim, uh, it was the budget PS3. It didn't have a big hard drive on it at all. In fact, I don't think it had any hard drive in it. Or, or did it? Okay, it it did. It did. Wait, it did. It, it, I forget. I think you had the option of putting a hard drive in. But I'm not sure. It was seen as the sort of digital PS3, I think. More or, more or less. And if you wanted to upgrade space, you could do so at your own behest. Okay, parts, parts, more parts. You know what? I don't think we're coming to a cutscene anytime soon. Oh my god. It's Tommy and Eugene. They look like babies here. Oh my god. Do you know who Tommy looks like? He looks like yeah, your man from Resident Evil 3. Uh, what was it? Carlos, he looks like Carlos. Not with the uh, messy hair, but with the slick back hair. Okay, that's cool. But, uh, yeah. There's no one here, so... We're the only ones... Oh, another note. Eugene, I'm begging you to come home. The Fireflies want to save the world. Not just family to join the Fireflies. Okay, let's start that again. Eugene, I'm begging you to come home. The Fireflies want to save the world. I say let them. Let them go after the military, the politicians. Let them develop a vaccine to save mankind. Maybe one day we'll live to see the fruits of their fantasies. Until then, I have to put our daughter first. The Fireflies will be fine without you. Your daughter won't. She keeps asking me when you're coming home. I miss you, but I don't know how much more of this I can take. Come home, please. We love you. Clear. Oh, and that was his wife and daughter. Oh, they look so cute. He kind of looks like Billy Connolly a small bit. Minus the grey uh, and white hair. Okay, just going to play for a bit more. Just a bit more. Till the next cutscene. That's all. Oh, is it dead? Oh, that's better. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wow. Impressive work, Ben Shijin. Oh, you can mod your gun with this gear. Of course I can. Watch me. Okay, so we've got fire rate, stability, recoil, and capacity. Oh, we, we can actually have a proper look-see. So it's the Nicoterra mod 256. Hmm, looks nice. Wavy, wavy. Read manual before use. Yeah, nah, just point and shoot. And reload when you're out of bullets. That's cool. Naughty Dog really did go into detail with this. Okay. We'll upgrade our rifle. I hate this gun. It is by far the worst. It's probably the most powerful, but... Holy crap, I'm on 20% battery on my phone. But... The reload time is absolutely cack. Ooh, trophy earned. Tinkerer. Lovely. A lovely jump leaf, I do see so myself, and I yeah, do. This will work. Good job with that. Oh, we could put a scope on it as well. That's cool. Um, can we do that now? Ah, uh, no, we need 80 parts. They can't upgrade anything else. Well, the capacity is what I'm worried about. So I guess we're done. We're done, though. Oh, hello, Ellie. Look at the floor. 
There's more stuff down there. Oh, see a way down? Um, not here. Okay. 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 Gross. I am done. I am done. I am done. I am done. Thoughts? I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. This will probably be my longest video. It's going to take the longest to edit. And render will be in 30 FPS because that's what the frame rate of the game is, I'm assuming. And it'll be a little shorter to render. Actually, no, it'll be the same length. Who am I kidding? It's going to be over two hours. But yeah, story wise, I like it. I like the dialogue. There's a lot. Maybe a little too much. But that's just me. These games aren't made for less players in mind. They're not made for YouTubers in mind. They're meant for people who enjoy games. All right. So yeah, um, liking Dina. She she seems nice. She seems fairly interested in Ellie. The whole fact that Ellie is lesbian, I don't think it's as ham-fisted as I thought it would be. I mean, still pretty on the nose, but yeah, it's a nice change of pace. It. It's uh, good to see inclusivity. The only thing I don't like is when you have people like Niall, Neil, Neil, Niall Druckmann coming out on Twitter and bashing everybody who says different. Some people mightn't like it. Like, if they don't like it, they can express it in, in a way that doesn't really come across as bigoted. Uh, but, like, if they're tearing someone down because of their sexuality, it doesn't matter if they're fictional or not then yeah, I'd say get, give them hell. But at, at the same time, just don't be attacking your fans. Don't be attacking people who love games. I mean, me, I personally don't care that Ellie is, is a lesbian. Doesn't bother me. All right. I play, I play games for the story, for the graphics, for the characters. And that's what many people do play games for. Because they, they're a form of uh, escapism. And entertainment, enjoyment. A break from this work a day world, if you will. But yeah, those are my thoughts. Again, Naughty Dog, loving it so far. And uh, yeah, that, that that's about it. Part two of this will come out God knows when because, oh boy, um, I guess this is going to be quite a video to edit. And I haven't even finished editing the last part of The Last of Us 1. So I will get on that right away. So guys, you know what to do if you did enjoy this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment, favorite, share with your friends. And of course, if you want to subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. So until next time. See ya. I can see our future days, days of